ठोरे प्रिय आत्मन जागो हे प्रिय आत्मन फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे फरिश्तों के संग संग बाबा है पधारे प्रीतम से कर मिलन जागो आत्मन आईरे प्रभा हम शांत द फॉर्च्यून ऑफ बिलोंगिंग टू बाबा पॉइंट नंबर टू कीप वन थिंग इन द मेमोरी दैट एट अमृत वेला दैट वेक्स यू अप The Father's love awakens you. The beginning of the day is so great, and the Father calls Himself to meet you. Do the spiritual conversation fills with power. So how great is the beginning of every day? You always wake up by the love of the Father, or sometimes you get up with compulsion. In reality. The songs of love wakes you up. Since Amrit Vela, the Father calls you with so much love. Sweet children, dear children, come. So, whose beginning is so great? How will be the beginning, the middle, and the end? Will it? Will not it be the great? spiritual life means morning meditation afternoon meditation evening meditation and night meditation morning meditation night meditation morning meditation is the result of night meditation this night meditation night has got one rule what is the rule of night or sleep night sleep has got one rule whatever thought you sleep with the with the same thought you wake up that is the rule if you sleep with anger you'll wake up with anger if you sleep with some disturbance in the mind with some irritating thought you wake up with the same irritating thought whatever you carry with you at night the same you wake up in the morning if you carry vices you wake up with vices if you carry waste you wake up with waste if you carry the world you wake up with the world if you carry god with you at night you wake up with god in your heart in the morning if you carry meditation at night you wake up with meditation in the morning so night meditation is very important night meditation this is to be done in lying down this is to be done in lying down position when you are just sleeping yoga nidra the sleep of yoga the dream of yoga as you sleep relax the body 
drop the body here on this earth and take a flight and go up reach your home in yesterday's avyakta murli baba said you are spirit you are on spiritual pilgrimage you are spiritual pilgrims just as they shout hail to the mother you remember where you are going this world doesn't belong to you forget it drop the consciousness of this world drop the consciousness of the body and i am sleeping this is the bed i am sleeping here the body i drop here and the soul is flying up reaching the soul's abode don't sleep on earth at night sleep in param dham it is risky to sleep here because thieves will enter through the gates so drop the body go up create that internal desire within you i don't want to stay here i am a pilgrim i want to go back to my home i am missing my home a sense of nostalgia homesickness is coming unto me that home is pulling me that home is invoking me calling me beckoning me come 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 that home is telling me come what are you doing there on earth drop the mud drop the soil come to the land of brilliance come to the land of luminosity come to the land of radiance so night means night meditation whatever you carry with you at night the same you wake up with you carry meditation you wake up with meditation in the morning you sleep with god and you wake up with god in the morning so morning meditation afternoon meditation is also important convert afternoon time into meditation or just lie down for 15 minutes and do lying down meditation relax the body focus on the breath rotate the consciousness throughout the body and then take some self respect and do some spiritual drill all in 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes but this morning siesta is important this morning afternoon nap power nap this is known as power nap this is not the stage of coma or unconsciousness this is power nap so morning meditation afternoon meditation then evening meditation namasham this is you sit sit up and meditate morning and afternoon and evening spine straight afternoon and night lying down night meditation and then you wake up in the morning baba says who wakes you up don't you get intoxicated god has come and he wakes me up
you have given this duty to god god has taken upon himself the duty to wake you up in the morning he is such a obedient he is such a obedient what do you call server he comes every morning and wakes you up but what do you say wait 10 minutes 10 minutes and 10 minutes and 10 minutes and 10 minutes and 10 minutes so morning is the time when you wake up with heightened consciousness with a very high consciousness and the atmosphere is supercharged with divine power you enter into that high energy field of consciousness you enter into the subtle world the subtle world is so powerful and even more powerful is the param dham why param dham is so powerful arvind bhai why param dham is so powerful there is a sixth element five elements are not there okay then what so what there is no maya okay what else why param dham is so powerful hmm because god is that is a permanent resident residential place of god his vibrations are there because he is staying all the time he is not staying on this earth had he been staying here if he comes and stays for some time on this earth that place becomes so powerful he comes to madhuban and st- he stayed in madhuban for so small time and till now that power is there in madhuban he comes in shanti when he stays for some time that hall is still powerful imagine what that place vibration would be where he stays permanently for 5000 years so that param dham is carrying god's vibration one next hmm what complete purity why param dham is so powerful because param dham is devoid of any impurity param dham doesn't pass through the stages of sato rajo and tamo the earth the earthly elements everything pass through the stages here the brahma tattva the sixth element doesn't pass through these three stages that is why param dham is so powerful that is second reason third there is no activity why act- activity creates impurity or what no okay the vritti the now come to the souls the souls who are there nobody can get entry into param dham without complete purity so complete purity is there and because of this because no matter what souls are all the souls 700 crore all the souls who are there in param dham they all are absolutely sacrosanct absolute purity is there because some have become pure through yoga and some through thrashings from dharma raja so punishments from them but everybody has to become pure and enter so the souls are so pure because of the purity of the soul the param dham is pure or because of the purity of the sixth element the souls are pure whatever you call it so that is the third reason and the fourth no sound it is this utter soundlessness there is no sound there there is anhadnat anhad means that sound which is produced without friction probably that sound is there the sound which is without friction one is ahat ahat means this is ahat ahat means wound friction this is ahat when i clap when there is a clapping with one hand jain call it clapping with one hand hinduism call it anhadnad anhad means which you can hear which is going on throughout the universe but there is no friction 
and yogis tried to find out what is it and they found out that the word om is somewhere near to that anhad somewhere near to that so probably paramdham is resounded resonated with that anhad with that sound without friction but otherwise it is without sound it is nirvan no sound is there it is the sound land of soundlessness so because of this soundlessness there is so much power when you are in sound when you create sound you deplete energy here there is a preservation of energy when one doesn't speak for one whole day what happens by evening you feel so powerful when one doesn't speak for 10 days no speech at all you feel extremely powerful just imagine this place there's no sound there for 5000 years so this place is so powerful because of no sound what else no sound no noise what else no past present and future so there is a timelessness this is known as timelessness there is no time here no past no present no future there is nothing like that another thing there is no right no directions there this is right this is left this is east this is west as such a thing is there in paramdham there is nothing like that so no east no west no this is up this is down there no day and no night day and night is happening because of what earth is rotating around itself here there is no such rotation so there is no day there is no night there is a, another thing this is a uh, constant light there is no diminishing of light there is no change of weather now it is raining let me take a umbrella or oh, now it's so hot what to do in paramdham weather doesn't change the climate doesn't change so climatic conditions are same the temperature remains same the atmosphere is uniform homogeneous the same thing is there so that's why this paramdham is so powerful and another thing this 2g 3g 4g this uh, these uh, wipes are not there this wifi all those things are not there they they disturb they pollute they bring down the energy just if you stay without any mobile for 3 days you feel so powerful don't touch any electronics or stay in a place where there are no electronics stay in himalayas natural environment where uh, you go in some village where there is no such uh, contamination of electronics so that is why it is so powerful another thing the souls are souls don't need anything there nothing they need they don't need air they don't need water they don't need food they are completely charged 100% charged the souls are so powerful that's why at amritvela when you wake up just even for some time if you spend in paramdham you get charged because this is superly charged atmosphere there is no contamination of this world civilization has not entered paramdham has yet not become commercialized this is my area this is your area so there is no selfishness there there is no business happening there this is my land why you have come in my land go to your section i have kept my handkerchief here this don't don't sit here so there is no body cards there there is no people who are doing sitting arrangements there just as we do in shantivan madhuvan nivasis and double videshis and uh, sevadharis so there are no sections sections would be there there but there are no wars and there are no fights and there are no boundaries this is my kingdom and that is your kingdom this is why you stepped into my kingdom so there is no civil war going on there is no nuclear weapons going on there is no selfishness there so there is no such divisions there there is no this country and that country and that continent and this continent there is no conflict 
so this is the world of total no conflict world so because of this there is an eternal peace baba says the peace cannot exist on this earth impossible people say baba how can we get peace baba said not possible you cannot get peace in this world because this is a land of peacelessness the land of peace shanti dham is only one and there is the only time that is the only place where you can get peace hmm so no vices are there so this is a t- place of timelessness dimensionlessness vicelessness and uh, incorporeal so there is timelessness no past no present no future no up no down just we always give the example a teacher was teaching in a class and uh, the teacher asked why earth does not fall down earth is nobody is holding the earth there are no props so one small girl raises the hand and asks sir where it shall fall <laughs> there is no east west up down so where it will fall so in space baba says polar and polar and polar there is no up and down there so there is no question of dimension so this is a land of dimensionlessness timelessness bodylessness voicelessness soundlessness so these are the things about paramdham there is no changelessness this is a change there is nothing like changing of elements climatelessness no thoughtlessness this is a, this is a place where there is a no thought thoughtlessness so all those things are there that's why enter into this area this is a electric field the electromagnetic field the moment you enter you start getting charged now it depends upon how stable you stay there just as imagine if there is a mobile and i put it this to charging and there is a loose connection there and so will it get charged no first it should be stable and then put on charging so once the soul goes in paramdham just keep it stable there and supreme soul will charge it and once it is charged then you can come down but then again don't forget to go back next day because the charging finishes you have to charge it every every what it depends on how much you work how many apps are open <laughs> if multiple apps are open and your bluetooth is on and your mobile data is on and always you are on phone calls so the more energy you spend more you need charging the more you are engaged in this world the more you need charging the less you are engaged in this world the less charging is needed if you are attached to so many people yesterday while talking with mothers baba said you are attached to your grandchildren sometimes he is sick so you are sick in the mind he has fever you have fever nirmohi pandavas are running after money nirmohi attachment pulls so the more the attachment the more the expansion the faster you get depleted decharged now yoga is the process raj yoga is the process of recharging the battery of the soul so, and that takes place in the most powerful manner at amrit vela so when you wake up at amrit vela remember who wakes me up and what i have to do what are my duties my attainments my fortune and i have to begin this day with powerful thought in yesterday the vyakta murli there was a yet another powerful statement nothing is difficult this is a very powerful statement in yesterday's murli nothing is difficult mushkil kuch bhi nahi hai nothing is difficult om shanti om shanti keep one thing in the memory that at amrit vela they had wake you up the father's love awakens you the beginning of the day is so great and the father calls himself to meet you do the spiritual conversation fills with power so how great is the beginning of every day 
you always wake up by the love of the father or sometimes you get up with compulsion in reality the songs of love wake you up since amrit vela the father calls you with so much love sweet children dear children come so whose beginning is so great how will be the middle and the end will not it be the great om shanti जागरण की जा